In this video, we're going to learn how to use the absolute value function in Python. So the absolute value of a number is just the non-negative value of the number without regard for its sign. We can also think of the absolute value of a number as being the distance of the number from zero. So for example, the absolute value of five is five and the absolute value of negative five is also five. The absolute value of zero is going to be zero. And we can also have an absolute value of a real number with decimal places. So for example, the absolute value of negative 2.5 is going to be 2.5. So the absolute value function ABS can be used to get the absolute value of integers and floating point numbers. So for example, if we have X is equal to negative four, X is an integer we can apply the absolute value function to x. We can have here x abs is equal to, and we'll call abs and pass it x as an argument. So the absolute value function is going to return the absolute value of x, and we expect that to be four. We'll output x abs with print and x abs. We'll save our program and test it out, and we do get back four. We could also test out the function with a floating point number. So here we'll have y is equal to negative 2.5, and y is a floating point number that includes a decimal point. Now we'll have y abs is equal to abs, and we'll pass the abs function y. So again, the abs function is going to return the absolute value of y. We'll output that. We'll have here print y abs. And if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back 2.5 because 2.5 is the absolute value of negative 2.5. Now the absolute value function is also going to return the magnitude of complex numbers. So for example, if we have a complex number like this, we'll have Z is equal to four plus 16 J. The absolute value function is going to return the magnitude of this complex number, where the magnitude of a complex number is what we get when we square the real part of the number and add that to the square of the imaginary part of the number and take the square root of that sum. We'll try that out. We'll have here Z ABS is equal to ABS when it's past Z. And we'll print out here Z underscore ABS. We'll save the program and try it out. And that is the magnitude of the complex number. So this is how we can use the absolute value function ABS in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.